Hello, I am Dr. Sid Uttam Sidhe from Pain Management Clinic. Today I am going to talk about the back pain, which is a very common problem. Uh, it is the most common chronic pain for which patient comes to doctor. Almost one in five patients suffer suffer from this back pain. We have categorized this back pain into uh, acute pain and chronic pain, depending on the duration of pain. Acute pain is very short lasting, maybe for few days or maybe for uh, a couple of weeks. And the chronic pain is long lasting. If you are having back pain for more than three months, then we label it as a chronic pain. So broadly speaking, <clears throat> what we deal in uh, pain management clinic is mostly this chronic back pain. <coughs> so any pain which uh, is giving you trouble for more than three months, you should think that you are suffering from a chronic back pain. So usually such kind of patient require treatment and we, we mostly treat such kind of patient in pain clinics. The proper diagnosis of the causative factor of pain is very important when we are treating the back pain. Back pain, back is a, a very complex structure. It consists of a lot of, lot of um, bones, a lot of ligaments, a lot of muscles, uh, there are so many discs, there are so many joints. So anything which is giving problem in these structures will cause a back pain. The commonest cause of back pain is a discogenic pain. So whenever there is a herniation of disc or any problem in the disc, that will give rise to pain. So whenever patient is coming in the pain, pain clinic, they usually say they are suffering from sciatica. So what is sciatica? Sciatica is a problem due to disc herniation. So the disc is a part between the two vertebra. So whenever that herniates or that gives a bulge, that bulge causes compression on the nerve. So in that case, whenever you bend forward, that disc abut the nerve, it hits the nerve. So there is a, always a pain starting from the bank going in the leg. That is what we call is a radiating pain. This pain increases when the patient bends forward. When the patients uh, do prolonged activity, like long standing, uh, long time uh, for longer duration, he's standing, or uh, he's walking for uh, quite a long duration, then the pain increases. Uh, then uh, this is the most common cause of back pain. And then second commonest cause is uh, facetal pain. Facet is the joint between the two vertebra. So, uh, because of the old age, sometimes there is a degeneration in this facet joints. So that gives rise to low back pain. This pain is mainly in the back. Sometimes it gets referred to the leg, but it is never below the knee. While the sciatica pain is goes below the knee, maybe up to the toes. And this facet pain increases when the patient bend backwards and the sciatica pain increases when patient bends forward. So this uh, facetal pain and all this discogenic pain or any kind of back pain, we can manage it conservatively. That means with medicine and some exercises. Only few subset of a patient who is having back pain requires surgery. In our pain clinics, we manage this patient with medicine and sometimes with uh, some physiotherapy. That is what we call it exercises, back exercises. F few subset of patient requires the pain blocks. Pain blocks are the what we give. We give some diagnostic block to find out what is the exact cause of pain. So if the patient gets good relief after the pain blocks, we can give a long term relief by using the radio frequency ablation. So most of the back pain in pain clinics, we are managing non-surgically with the conservative management of treatment and sometimes the pain clinics, uh, sometimes the pain blocks, sorry. So this is all about what. So if you want any further information, you can visit our website that is www painclinicpune.com you can whatsapp us on plus 91 750 
सेवन जीरो टू सेवन टू सेवन जीरो थैंक यू